As mind-blowing as it is, every single person in this room was first composed of exactly two cells, an egg and a sperm. And now, don't be fooled by the small size of the sperm. Yeah, it's tiny. However, it contributes a roughly 50% of all that we still are today. And that's quite a responsibility for a cell. And the responsibility falls to the machine that you see in beautiful colors there that I have dedicated my PhD career to study. I call this the sperm factory. And the sperm factory has a very important job. It needs to pack everything that is important and essential about a father into a tight, motile package of the sperm. In fact, the sperm is the only cell that is designed to leave the human body, travel into another human body, and encountering an egg, produce a completely new human body still. In order for the sperm to do this, it needs to be packed with a lot of information, a lot of baby-making data. But in addition, it also has to be like, light enough to travel. Think about hiking for a minute. Think about packing for a hike right now. You need to take some essentials with you, but at the same time you know that every single item you pack is going to increase your burden and slow you down just a little bit. So you only want to take the most essential things, right? The same way, the sperm factory makes sure that every sperm contains exactly what is essential and nothing else. So, what is essential? What is really important to bring to the next generation? Well, you have DNA, we know this. But in addition, very recently, and what is really exciting in my field, we discovered a new package of data. And this new package of data, unlike DNA, that is very stable, fluctuates. It seems to be responding to the environment and to what the father, well, what the man is exposed to. And I have to say that studying the system that regulates all of this is what drives me to the lab every single day. And I really hope that by the time I defend my thesis, I will be able to tell you exactly how quality sperm is being produced and what you, as a man, can do to make sure that your little swimmers, your sperm, is of the best quality. Let's call it the uh, Olympic-level swimmers. Thank you very much.